Well, hello and welcome to Gemadism Total Notary Channel. Today we are going to change the cooling paste of a laptop. Uh, if you zoom in here, we have uh, the two chips which uh, need the cooling paste the processor, which is actually here, and the graphics card, which is there. And uh, goes without saying, but the computer, of course, needs to be disconnected from the net and uh, from the, uh, yeah, from everything. And uh, you have to turn it off, or it will turn off when you put apart it like this. And also, uh, don't shock your computer. So you should ground yourself, um, if possible. Uh, don't wear shoes, touch a grounded thing, like a radiator or something else grounded and you'll be fine or ground yourself. Um, and half this video is going to be me telling you to be more careful than I am because I'm not too careful, <laughs> which you should be. <laughs> uh, if you actually care about, if you care too much about uh, the result of what you do, you should care. Uh, this is an old computer um, and uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter so much to me. I'm going to just clean it up reinstall windows and see what I can use it for. In any ways, here is the cooler. Looks like this and uh, it's, you know, goes there. Make sure you don't lose the screws all around and clean this up before installing it, by the way. Yeah, so uh, uh, you need to clean up the uh, rolled cooling paste. I already mechanically removed some of it very uncarefully. You shouldn't remove it like this. I did. Uh, and the rest we should be able to remove by... Uh, also don't touch any conducting thing on your motherboard. That one might be bad. I do that, uh, but as I said <laughs> of this video is <laughs> be more careful. In any ways, uh, to, do, to use this we can use alcohol. This is ethanol. Uh, pure ethanol. Uh, it's called rubbing alcohol in English, I believe. And so you take a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And here we have a the processor there. So let's see if we can remove the rest of it using the rubbing alcohol. Yeah, so there are some goes. Yeah, so this might take a little bit of time, but you basically need to remove the as much as possible of the old cooling paste because everything between the uh, processor and uh, and the cooler ship and the cooler will slow down your system. Yeah, there we go. It's going to there we go. And be careful, try to not touch any of the pins. You might accidentally short something if there would be a little bit of juice left. There we go. Yeah, and of course you need to do it also on, not there, because the processor goes straight on there. Uh, but rather here, on the uh, GPU. Just like that. And uh, then you proceed to remove it from this one. So I'll just do that and I'll come back. The processor is clean and beautiful. Uh, <laughs> the cooler is uh, kind of clean. And I kind of mechanically <laughs> removed it very uncarefully before. Don't do that. Uh, probably don't matter too much. But uh, as said, I'm not. you should be a little bit more careful. And, uh, well, it's kind of hard to break components like this, actually. It's not that easy to just break your computer, but it's possible, and uh, if you have bad luck, you might break something. So it's better to be careful. So much dust. Also, don't spill ethanol on your motherboard. Not that I did it, but it was kind of close. So, yeah. Okay, interesting. I think I have some fibers left from the paper and stuff. In any case, let's proceed. 
the processor uh, it has a lot of pins here be careful of those uh, you have kind of a little inconsistency in one of the corner which goes to the inconsistency of the processor so yeah and you should just drop it in there and it sits nicely nice uh, now you of course need new cooling paste because you removed the old one yeah makes sense um, and uh, this is uh, you don't need a lot of this you don't want it to touch any of the other components it's better to have too little than have too much just keep that in mind just have a little ooh, maybe too much oh no I had a little string there dropped on the motherboard that's not good Oh no, yes. Uh, so I think I actually have a little too much. I just want to remove this little... And this little piece I dropped there. Yeah, there we go. Hope nothing broke. Yep. Okay, like that. And uh, now we're just going to. Uh, you might not need to do this, but uh, I'm doing it because I always do. Just a little bit to try to. Uh, if we can't place it exactly straight on and do a little mess, we want to help this spread out correctly. So we just spread it out a little bit. And of course, when this is squeezed, it will be spread out, as it should. Yes, you should probably have a little less than I had, but yeah. Alright, now we have the cooler. And you want to make sure... Uh, there is a cable here that's supposed to go at, on one of the hook here, above this hook. Uh, and you can't move around this a lot when uh, you place this down. And now, oh god. Yeah, that's, that's what I said. Sadly, I didn't listen too much to myself. So I just got to have this little wire under. Come on. Okay, now we're hooked. Now we're hooked. like that now it's kind of pressed down there okay now you need to find the right screws and these are very small uh, try to not to drop them on the motherboard also don't stab the motherboard with your uh, screwdriver <laughs> Uh, you should apply them on this crisscross pattern. So one of the corners. My hand is kind of blocking. <laughs> like that. And then this one. So I attach the screws kind of loosely first. And then we're going to apply pressure. One sec. So we're just uh, going to uh, switch between all of these to apply pressure. Of course this uh, pressurizes the uh don't poke with metal on your motherboard or well, you can do it but uh, you might mess something up like that. It's conductive that's why. Then we should mount the cooler just a couple of screws. Uh, you probably just, uh, you know, uh, disassemble this, so you should know how to assemble that. All right. Now all the screws of the of the uh, cooler is mounted and it's nice. Don't forget this little cable which you removed before to get it loose. Uh, this is of course the cable 
the processor fan cable. So make sure it's mounted tightly and nice because otherwise the cooler for the processor and the GPU won't run. Okay, so now we have tightened these screws. It's kind of ready to be assembled again. Hey, uh, by the way, um, I started a computer. It's a new day. D do you think it started? Of course, it didn't start. And uh, I tried to do some troubleshooting, and I was like, "Holy shit, was I so uncareful?" And uh, apparently, this computer model um, has some issues. But uh, it was good that I opened up the PC because I found the issue. Let's see there. Uh, there we have a little screw right there, which you can tighten the uh, the like processor core into the socket. <laughs> uh, I forgot to tighten that. Um, don't forget to tighten that. And now the PC works. Uh, just that. <laughs> it works great, by the way. It's so clean and so silent. Love it. Yeah. So see ya. Great, we have successfully assembled a computer and changed the cooling paste. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This is Jim Ades from Total Nerdy Channel, signing out. Now, we'll see if it starts up, which I think it will, but in any case. See you around, Jim Ades, signing out.